but this is tying into the masters. This is some, this is a thought I've had in my head for a couple months now, and I've been trying to fine tune it as much as possible. Wait for the right time to talk about it, but it's really just an analogy to help people understand Bitcoin a little bit better. And so with Bitcoin, think about the, I want to compare golf to Bitcoin proof of work. So we see the, we see the blocks here every 10 minutes. I'm going to bring this up quickly, but we see the blocks every 10 minutes on mempool. And if you understand what's happening there, every 10 minutes on average, a new block is mined. And you can see here, the miners F2 pool, Foundry USA and pool. That's who mine these blocks. So their, their incentives for mining those blocks and for securing the Bitcoin network and basically getting all the transactions, compiling them into a block and sending that out to every single person running a Bitcoin node. That's what happens there. So every time there's a new block, the Bitcoin ledger gets updated with the new transactions, the new block and F2 pool in this case, they would have taken all the transactions over here waiting in the mempool. They would have taken those, found the ones that they want, compiled a block and broadcast that out to every single person running a Bitcoin node. So they get an updated ver uh, copy of the ledger. And for that, for their troubles, F2 pool gets subsidy. Oh, they got a big one there. Huge payout. 8.7 Bitcoin for that, worth 614,000 US. So that's their incentives for doing that, is the Bitcoin. They get paid in Bitcoin for mining. And if you think about what they do there, essentially, every 10 minutes, all these miners are competing to solve the equation. That's essentially what it is. It's very easy to get um, overwhelmed with the terminologies and the different things happening in Bitcoin. But essentially what's happening here is that these miners are all running these supercomputers. And all these supercomputers are trying to guess a mathematical equation. And the computer or the miner who guesses that equation gets to mine the block. So that's the very simple version of it. And the more, the more hash power, the more electricity, the more computing power you have into that, the higher your odds are going to be of solving that block. So let's just compare two things here. Let's compare me running a, a Bitcoin miner at my house. Not a lot of power there, not a lot of computing power, just one miner versus F2 pool, who would be a pool of a bunch of miners, a bunch of mining companies. And so they have much more computing power than I do here. So their odds of solving that next block are incredibly higher than mine. But there's still a chance that I could do it, right? And so I wanna, I wanna compare this to golf. And if you think about this analogy here, this is how I like to look at it. I saw somebody compared it to like throwing darts at a dartboard and trying to hit the everybody's throwing darts and the one who hits the bullseye, that's who gets to mine the next block. It's kind of the same thing. And so with, with my analogy here is think about golf. So picture this in your head. There's a big open space, bunch of green space. There's one hole, one green in the middle of it. And around that is let's say a thousand golfers all in one circle and everybody's firing golf balls and whoever gets a hole in one, that's who gets the, the money. That's who gets the, the prize. And the, the reason why this is very similar to Bitcoin is because some of those golfers, let's say that F2 pool, they, they're a big company within that. And let's say that they hire John Rahm or Scotty Scheffler. That's their golfer who's firing golf balls as much as they can, as many golf balls as they can until somebody gets a hole in one. And when they get a hole in one, they get paid and then people keep shooting over and over and over again, right? So F2 pool, they got John Rahm, they got Scotty Scheffler, but then there's also Jor pool. And I don't have a bunch of money behind me. So I'm just out there myself shooting golf balls. And so you have to think about that. The guys like Scotty Scheffler, the guys like Tiger Woods, John Rahm, they're going to have a much greater chance of getting a hole in one than me. But there's still a chance that I could get a hole in one myself. 
So very low cost. I'm not paying anybody to be there. I'm shooting balls over and over again, hoping one goes in. And every, let's say, a thousand hole in ones, I get one of those in the hole. And it's the exact same thing in Bitcoin. Because what these companies are doing is they're spending a whole bunch of money. They're putting a whole bunch of capital and investment into this to buy as much computing power and hash power as possible. And the higher that is, the higher their odds of mining the next block are. And in golf, it'd be the exact same thing. You hire a bunch of really good golfers. And with, because they're so talented, they're so skilled, their odds of getting a hole in one are much higher. And so I, I just, I thought that that was a perfect analogy for Bitcoin mining and understanding what's happening there. Because at the end of the day, it's the exact same thing. And the reason why that isn't scalable, obviously, like it would work. It's the exact same thing. It's real, real life, physical stuff, proof of work. The more skill you have, the more work you put into getting that skill, the higher your odds are of getting a hole in one and winning the, the money in this scenario. But the reason why it doesn't work, obviously, is because you'd have to have millions of golfers standing in a circle. <laughs> there'd be weather conditions out there. There'd be a bunch of different factors that wouldn't make this feasible for this to be the way that we decide who gets the money. With Bitcoin, there's no humans involved. It's all computers. You can do it over and over again because <laughs> after about an hour or two of me hitting golf balls over and over and over again, I would probably get tired. Computers don't get tired. They, you know, use a lot of energy, but they don't get tired. So they can just keep making guesses over and over and over again. And that's exactly what's happening in Bitcoin is that these miners, these computers are just with the amount of computing power that they have, they're just spitting out as many guesses as they possibly can. As many guesses they can. And they're hoping that one of those guesses is the equation. And if it happens to be right and everybody agrees, then they get to mine the next block they get the Bitcoin for that and they get to broadcast the updated version, the updated ledger to the entire Bitcoin network. And it'd be the exact same in golf. You just keep hitting balls over and over again. Everybody's hitting into the same hole from around the, from in a circle. And people would just keep hitting over and over again until one person gets a hole in one. They get paid and then you keep going over and over and over again, hitting as many as many shots as you possibly can in that amount of time. So I hope, I hope that makes sense. That was my master's version of, of what Bitcoin mining is. And I'm not going to lie. It took me, I was probably in Bitcoin for one or two years before I really understood Bitcoin mining. Not, not even really understood it, like even had a clue what the hell was happening there. And so I, th I really believe that if, if people understood the mining process and the uh, the blockchain and how it gets broadcast out to every single person running a Bitcoin node. I think that that would, they would increase their conviction for sure, but it really just helps understand uh, behind the curtains here. So I want to share with that with you today. I hope that makes sense. Uh, Ballsy Golf says, great analogy, Bitcoin and golf doesn't get any better. That's kind of my thinking too. And everybody can understand that. You don't need to know the rules of golf. You don't need to know anything like that. You just know that there's a bunch of players hitting shots from the same yardage and trying to make a hole in one over and over again. And if they get a hole in one, they get paid. And then the next one starts. It's the exact same thing in Bitcoin. The more computing power you have, the better your odds are. The more skill you have of the people hitting those golf balls trying to get hole in ones, the more, the higher your chances are that you're going to get a hole in one. But there's also a chance that a solo miner could earn a Bitcoin or, or earn the next block reward, solve that equation. And there's also a chance that somebody like me, who's not a PGA player, who didn't cost a bunch of money to be there, could still get a hole in one. Just not as likely. It's, and the Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin mining is the exact same process of that. 